joining us now is News Nation special correspondent Ross Coltart. What's your reaction, Ross, to these uh, declassified, now newly declassified documents in Kona Blue? Good evening, Elizabeth. Well, look, it does sound sci fi, but I can tell you there are people inside the Defense Department, former and serving, who do believe that the claims made in the Kona Blue documents were authentic. But that's vigorously disputed, of course, by the ARO, the Pentagon's UAP investigation team. They did their historical review and published a few weeks ago, and they said, yes, there was this code name, Kona Blue program, that was proposed, never implemented, but proposed as a special access program, one of the deepest, darkest secrets in the US government. And, and they claim at ARO that, of course, they investigated and they found no evidence to support claims of retrieved non-human technology. All I can tell you, Elizabeth, is that we now have a very clear difference of opinion inside the Defence Department and also inside the intelligence community. Mm. Because one of the things that's conspicuous, ever since that Arrow historical report, report was published a few weeks ago, which refuted Kona Blue's documents and said that there was nothing in the whole program, the allegations were based on false premises, What's been conspicuous is that the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, the intelligence czar that was appointed post 9-11 to centralise and control intelligence in the United States, they haven't backed the Pentagon's claims in the Arrow report. Have they They've contradicted them or are they just not commenting? They're just not commenting. And it's very interesting because I'm told there is a split between the intelligence community and the Defence Department. The Pentagon's decided to bluff it out and go it alone. There are people who are passionately of the view that there is authentic, recovered, non-human technology in the possession of the United States. And they are determined to get access to it so that its utility can be exploited, weapons can be developed, technologies can be advanced to the benefit of the American people. The problem is there's a group inside the Pentagon, they believe, who are blocking access to this technology. And that's what the decision to not make Kona Blue a special access program was all about. This was an attempt by a group of committed people People inside the Pentagon who, who do believe this technology exists to try and make sure that they did everything properly by the book, right. by the law. Is it and possible? Unfortunately, they were blocked. Ross, is it possible that David Grush might have conflated? I mean, was he? It was it Kona Blue that he was talking about, or was he talking about a completely different program? I'm sure the Pentagon would love you all to believe that, the, that David Grush is a deluded person who has no idea what he's talking about. And that's certainly the line they're pushing at the moment. What I can tell you is that there is an abundance of independent, objective witnesses who back what David Grush says to the hilt. And uh, this is slowly going to come out, whether the Pentagon likes it or not. And uh, unfortunately, we have a situation now where the government is actively being, I believe, misled by people in the Pentagon who have determined to try and cover up and deceive the American public. Ross Coltart, how do they come up with Kona Blue? Like, how is that a nickname for a top secret program to reverse engineer? I mean, I always wonder. How they do that. Uh, Ross, great to have you on the show. As always, we will continue to cover this as more documents are declassified and we read them. Thanks so much. No worries. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.